Hi, and welcome to the Insecure Chef. Today I'm going to uh, prepare an extremely simple, uh, very old world, if you will, uh, dish that people have for lunch, dinner, snack, maybe even breakfast. Um, they're English muffin pizzas. And um, normally I would not uh, film such a thing because most people have had them, done them, prepared them, or have no use for them. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I had an interesting conversation with some family on the phone, and the discussion came up uh, about pizza, and uh, someone said what they really loved was the English muffin pizzas they had as a child. And I said, yeah, I liked them. I think most of us enjoyed them, and still do. And um, they said, well, the problem with it, it's a nuisance to make because you got to turn the oven on and, you know, you got to get that warmed up and all that. So they said to me, uh, can you make that in the um, Ninja Foodi? And I said, I don't see any reason why you can't. I have not tried it, but it seems to me that the foodie will substitute very nicely for a hot stove. And it'll be quick, easy, with very minimal cleanup. So everyone said to me, well, why don't you, uh, why don't you give it a shot and film it? There might be other people out there that um, would like to try it in the foodie, and I'm not exactly sure what temperature settings they should use, etc. So that's what I'm going to do today. It's, uh, again, very simple, very easy, and uh, I haven't actually tried it yet, so I'm going to assume it'll come out uh, at least edible. So anyway, nothing fancy today, just a kind of a little uh, fun thing uh, brought up by uh, family. So, uh, if you'll be so kind to sit back and watch, this uh, shouldn't take long, and uh, I'll get started momentarily. Okay, uh, we're going to get started by uh, giving the uh, split English muffin, um, just a little splits with oil. I'm only going to do one muffin. As I said, this was just for purposes of uh, demonstration on what I think is a very simple recipe, if you can even call it that, which most people probably know. How to do. Okay, so I just put um, canola oil. That's all I used. Uh, I don't recommend olive oil in this case because this is going to get pretty hot and olive oil can get smoky and burn and get bitter. So I just use canola. If you're going to use uh, olive oil, watch the temperature. All right, I'm going to open up the foodie and uh, I'm going to place the uh, English muffins by themselves into the, uh, the basket. I'm sure you're familiar with that, that you can see. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to start it off uh, by um, air frying for uh, just three minutes at 400 degrees. So we're just going to close this down, hit the air fryer 350 degrees. I think that's what I just said. And um, we're going to do that. Did I say 350? No, 400. Oh, 400. Yeah, I'm saying I said it. My yeah. wife heard it. I heard it. And we both forgot it. <laughs> So that's the magnitude of the people you're watching right now. <laughs> Neither one of us are really uh, close to reality anymore. Don't make fun of us. We're old. Okay, so <laughs> again, it's 400 degrees, three minutes. Let's get it started. All right. This will take three minutes. So we'll, when we get down to about 15 seconds, uh, we'll come back. Ground zero here. And that should uh, finish that up. And uh, we let it do its eight second cool down. And then what we're gonna do at, once this is done, we're gonna take those back out, put them on a plate, and then we're gonna dress them. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now the amount of time that I just did it is, is a personal thing. You can, if you like them crispier, you do it longer. Um, if you like it less crispy, you can do it less. Okay, so that is the dough, if you will. And, um, and now we're gonna, uh, Take some pizza sauce again. This is all canned. You can make your own marinara sauce or pizza sauce, or whatever you like. I'm just showing you a quick way to uh, to make these things. Certainly, if you have children or a husband who likes basic Italian stuff, um, I'm gonna you know dress this up a bit for my tastes. And there's really no reason that there's any limitation, in my opinion, of what you can put on here. So I'm just going to move that sauce around. Same thing on the other half here. 
Okay. And then the uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the toppings on. So now the cheese and the uh, ham. I'm using ham. A lot of people use uh, pepperoni. Whatever you like. So you'll excuse my hands. I'm just going to take a uh, sliced uh, mozzarella here. And the actual, quote, recipe, as always, will be on the site. But I think you can see that uh, there's almost an infinite number of ways you can do this. And an infinite quantity of how much you want to use. I'll include quantities simply for reference, but don't feel obligated by any means to have to uh, use my numbers. All right, so that's, the, that's good enough for me with cheese. Um, I'm going to put on the ham and the seasoning. Again, you can put sliced pepperoni. You can use uh, uh, Italian um, pancetta, um, any kind of meat like that, sausage, supersad, whatever you like. All right, we'll get that on there. You getting this camera, lady? Yep, got this is, it. This is very, very <laughs> complicated. You know, I might, have you might get mess an award. up. I might huh? get an award. Oh, for okay. So. Again, I, I'm not making fun of anybody who maybe really doesn't know how to do this or whatever. Uh, I'm really not. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed because I think people are probably going to say, this is the insecure chef when he's making English muffin pizzas. But I found that uh, a lot of people are not sure how to do it in the foodie. So I'm giving it a shot. All right. That's the uh, the meat topping. Again, quantity, uh, your choice. And now we're going to put some seasoning on here. Now, the simplest thing is to buy a pre-bottled uh, of Italian seasoning. Okay, otherwise you can make them yourself. So I'm going to sprinkle a little garlic. And I'm going to go with a little basil, my favorite, by the way. I love uh, basil pizzas like the margarita. So putting on the basil on there. I guess you can see the quantities from here. And again, you can use your own judgment because. Uh, my camera lady's probably taking pictures of the wall, but uh, let's see what we've got here. This is, uh, this is the uh, thyme. You want to take it easy with thyme. It's a very strong flavor. If I can get any of it to come out. I'm, I'm just, tell you what, I'm going to do it by this way. Because I'm afraid it'll go all over the place. Yeah, actually that's plenty for me. All right. And now... Uh, a little uh, crushed red pepper. Again, one of my favorites. I like things spicy. You don't have to use it if you don't like it. You can use it a lot more if you do. A little oregano. Can't have pizza without oregano. And then we just kind of top it off a little bit with, uh, with parsley. Which I can never get out of these bottles. Mm -hmm. Literally. All right, what this will have to do, unless I'm going to be opening stuff. But anyway, that's parsley. It's a nice flavor. Okay. So they're dressed now, and they're ready for the final uh, cooking. Um, we're going to put them back in. Okay. My hand should be able to do this, as long as I don't burn myself on the machine. Okay, and uh, yeah, let me use my spatula. I'm trying to get it in there straight. Hang on, I almost lost it. Okay, you guys come up with a easier way to move such things around when they have food on them. I'd appreciate hearing it. Certainly, when there's no food on them, you can use tongs or anything. But okay, if you uh, take a look in there. All right, that's the, uh, the product just before we finish cooking it. So now I'm going to put it back in the air fryer, close the lid. Again, make sure it's at 400 degrees. All right, 400 degrees. And we're going to put it back between three and four minutes. And again, these are all personal preferences depending on how crispy you like it. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to set it for four, but I may take it out earlier. We'll see. All right, so... We're starting to air fry it back up again, and we'll be back in, uh, when it gets down to 10-15 seconds. 
Yeah, okay, uh, we're coming down now to about 20 seconds. Uh, off camera, I added another uh, two, two and a half minutes because the mozzarella was not com completely uh, melted. It may still not be, but you get the idea. It all comes down to your foodie or the heat or however you do it. So uh, I'm gonna, gonna shut itself down in about two seconds and then we'll take it out. And theoretically, it's done. And uh, the only variables, as you saw, was you can change the uh, amount of sauce you use. You can change. Excuse me, I'm sorry. That's my dog. Anyway, let's, let's take them out. Eli, it's okay. Stop. I'm only making it worse. Crazy boy. Alrighty. And they're the, they're the completed ones. You can get a feel for them. And then that's English muffin, English muffin pizzas. And uh, dog barking. So anyway, uh, I think they're going to be very tasty. You can see that the, uh, that the ham is uh, crunched, cr crunched up now. And uh, the mozzarella is melted. And you can go more if you like. And uh, you can also uh, call and let me know if you want to buy my dog. I can give him to you for a tremendous bargain. How about... How no about... way. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I uh, hope you didn't think it was too silly of me to do. Uh, but it should have some value, especially if you have young children. They'll really enjoy it. And if you have a foodie, that'll work. Okay? So thank you again so much. I appreciate it. Bon appetit. And be safe. Have a good night.